tough. McClung, will he give it up? Or will he take it? He lets it fly. People are just different. Like, some people want to go to parties, hang out with their friends. I was just like, always with that guy with a chip on my shoulder. Like, I want to be better than that guy. I want to, I want to get back in the gym at night. I want to get back in the gym in the morning. Like, it was just personally for me, I just, I want, I didn't ever want to leave the gym. He can be at home at 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. And if he hasn't shot well in a day or two, or if he maybe even thinks that something's wrong with his shot, that's when he goes to the gym. Be 10.30 at night and he'll just go, I'm going to the gym. He gets <laughs> up and he's out. I've gotten here before to work and at seven o'clock he's here. He takes care of it himself and you never really see him doing it. I would dare say that anybody that I know has worked harder at his skill than him. He competes at everything. Mac has always thought of himself as just like, he thinks he's the best, he feels like he's the best. He has an alpha male type of mentality and the way he thinks and how he feels. And he just had like this moxie about him. I feel like I have a fire burning. It's like a blessing and curse. I want to prove I'm better than you. Like he just carries that, that attitude about him. You know, it's not that I'm ranked a certain thing that gives me that shit. I was just born with it. Matt Hart is really bigger than his height. Everything that he embraced, he pretty much conquered. He'll challenge anybody. I don't really worry about what, try to worry about what other people think. I would say Matt McClung is first a competitor and someone who just gives it all they have. And no offers, none of that. Who, who was that? Uh, he was like, oh, that's Matt. I was like, He's the kid that's looking for the opportunity. He's running to the opportunity head on like, okay, I was like, look, I, I, I got a kid here that you don't know, nobody knows nothing about, named Mac McClung from Gate City. Everybody's first question is, where's Gate City? Where's that at? I don't know either, but he's here in Richmond. He's hands down the best kid you don't know about. It was very tough. He had a lot of grit, he had a lot of passion. Mac is one of those guys that's never faking it. Toughness is just something that you're born with and he has it. He wasn't a, considered a McDonald's kid and obviously personally invites the kid to his All-Star game. It doesn't surprise me to see him handle these challenges because he, you know, he's wanted this. Like they're sitting around just enjoying camping, enjoying the situation. He's wanted these opportunities to be in these camps to go against these kids who everybody said were better than him. I think being a three-star, you know, uh, is uh, rankings to me are not like a big thing. Like, I, I gotta be a five-star, you know? I feel like that just puts another chip on my shoulder and I'm the underdog once again. He done some things against five-star recruits that was five-star recruits for a long time. So now this is his opportunity while everybody else is just like winding down, having a good time. He's looking at it like, oh, yo, this is why I've been looking for you. I've been looking for you for the last three years. You're not ranked though. I don't know how. You have to be able to control it, huh? See, sometimes you gotta blame the committee, because now everybody getting killed by Matt. You know, the internet portrays everything to be like, everything's good and everything just happens so perfectly, like when they don't know what, what like you went through to get where you're at. I want to be different. I want to be one of a kind. If any doors open and it shows a little bit of crack of daylight, I think a guy like Mac McClone's going to kick that door.